Good afternoon. Good afternoon, morning, late morning. What are you doing hanging out at Lowe's? Um, so we got the trimmer rack for the enclosed trailer and we got a trimmer and blower rack for the open trailer. I'm trying to find what brand I'm gonna make my own blower rack, hedge trimmer rack, chainsaw rack. I'm gonna do like a rail system in the enclosed for that stuff. So I'm just trying to figure out what brand and what hooks are gonna work best for that. I see you have Starbucks there. Yeah, my $4,200 coffee. I guess <laughs> if we're being honest, that's what I got because this is store number like three or four that you've been looking at what the best options are. You should be able to do a whole review after this. Yeah. I'm sure every store we've just right? gone through. Maybe I'll save somebody else the running around when they see the setup. Right. That I do. And you can say where it's all from and be helpful. Yeah. That so works. it looks like you're currently at Lowe's looking at Fast, Fast Track. Track. Because I have some of this already from the shop. So I may just keep it all the same. So hooks are all interchangeable. But I haven't looked at, what is this, Gladiator? And Cobalt has their own line as well. If you have any setups that you love, leave it in the comments. But it'll be too late. <laughs> well, not necessarily. I mean, you might get something and it might not be perfect. Right. Or they... There might be a suggestion and you're like, yep, that is what I'm looking for. Or even if it doesn't help us, but it helps someone out. Oh, someone else. Individually? Because what I almost did before, before I even got the uh, trimmer racks is I was going to just hang them all vertically. Because they have... Hmm. Where did I just see the picture that reminded me? I do not know. Over here. Like a power tool hook. There's got to be a picture somewhere of... I'm using one. I don't know, but I may get some of those anyway because then I could put a, like a hedge trimmer or an edger, I mean not a hedge trimmer, an edger or power broom or something hanging in one of those. Yeah. So we'll see, lots of options. We're just gonna buy stuff and things and go so home and- me to get one of these for something. What? I don't know, you said like a basket or, <laughs> and I said I could put like mix oil and- Oh yeah, I did say that. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do some shopping. We'll be back and buy what some we stuff, end up with. and then we'll we'll come back once we get home and lay it all out and see if we can figure out what we're doing. Joseph, yes. did we make our minds up? Yes, I think we have it figured out. We went with the fast track rail system for everything, but brackets to hold blower tubes. Those we went with something from was it cobalt? Cobalt. Yeah. Um, we're gonna make our own thing a bit. nothing is ever everything's custom with us we couldn't find one brand that fit all our needs so we're gonna well and this is hard because it's a combination it's a combination of me being too cheap to buy blower racks <laughs> but also wanting the versatility of one rail that has my blowers my trimmers a chainsaw shovels rakes so i'm being cheap but i'm also being like that's the way i want it organized so so we're gonna take all our goods we're gonna go check out well we need screws we're gonna check out and then let's go put this up. Yeah. Figure this out. There we go. All right. All right, we're home. We got some pieces laid out. Haven't even started. And we already <laughs> found where we could have made a better choice. This isn't going as smoothly as we thought. But we will put in the work in frustration, so maybe you don't have to, <laughs> right? Yeah. Let's think about this. All right, we're regrouping. I think we might be onto something. We've got a final-ish plan, I believe. Okay, what is it? Um, so, I had these other little sections of Fast Track, like I said earlier, I already had some. Um, so I have two separate tracks. Typically, the big blowers aren't going to go in and out, in and out of the trailer. It's more or less for cleanups, and we'll have handhelds and a smaller backpack on the enclosed trailer, which I have a rack for, I mean, enclosed, the open trailer, the yeah. other trailer. I have a backpack rack for that, which I'll probably put, like, a smaller Echo backpack blower on. These two will stay stored in here. Um, 
But that being said, they're big bulky blowers and this is only a seven by 16, but it's a Vino's. So I think, I went back and forth about putting a bench up here, but I don't like the idea of having a bench because if I need to have the extra space, and pull the them bench is in the right way. Off right. Or... Because we could, if we had three standers, they could come in here. Yeah. And if that meant that when on a day we needed to put three mowers in here, I needed to just set those in the back of the truck. That's one thing. So this is what I came up with. These were the big enough ones that we came up with. Um, yeah, that the hold two. On one sec. Let me just get a look at this in case anybody wants. This is specifically because these blowers have a really big tube. Yeah. Um, there was some other like hooks and such that would have worked with a so, smaller blower. And this is cobalt, not the. No, we did, and we track. didn't get the rails for it. They do have a cobalt. Uh, it's called a K rail thing. We didn't go with that because they were like a composite plastic. And I hemmed and hawed about it, and then I said, then I was back on getting those. But then Samantha then said, ah, they're like all it. plastic. So we got these strictly to put where the tube's going to go. So because it has the two holes, so you're so, going to just screw it right to the wall. So you know, if you look at something and then you look away and you can have it like in your memory. Imagine that there for a second, right? Okay. There it is. Okay. You guys envision that. Pause. Them. Now, you come in with the blower. That hook's right there, right? Stick the tube up in. Another section of rail over here with a hook on it. Boom. There's your blower. All right. This side. Same thing. <laughs> Boom. Blower. So I have these two short sections. That'll go there. Yeah. And then one on the other. Now here comes the other uh, problem. We bought, well these are the old ones, but we bought new ones. Thinking these would be best for the blowers. You they, asked me and I said these and the, I was wrong. The, I will admit it. Well, you're not entirely wrong because I don't know if the other ones are either the answer either. Um, they were just a big hoop. Yeah. And I believe that would have worked better but you because of where really, this air cleaner is. Yeah. But I think it would have been a jig Hard. jog. You'd have to like tip it up and loop it around. Yeah. So what I'm gonna try to do right now is I'm gonna try to bend these so that where it comes through the handle, about like that, I'll let it sit off the wall a little, right? You gotta figure the straps and everything. So about right here, about halfway, our precise measurement here. If I can get those bent up at like a 45 degree, it'll clear the air cleaner. So let's go try that. All right. We're on a mission. And then I'll show you everything else. We're gonna go over here to the metal fabrication shop. Um, let's see, which hole? We'll try this one. Um, nope. I like your shot. Let's try. It's very nature-like. Let's try this one. Outdoorsy. This one might work. Yeah, we'll try that right there. There's my mark, right? Here, so now we just turn on the press. <laughs> right? Right there, there's our mark. So we'll turn on our press and it's set to 45 degrees. Well, like that, right? Does that look like a 45 to you? If that's just shy of 45. <laughs> this machine sometimes isn't exactly right on. Oh, it's kind of old. But that looks like so that looks like it'd be parallel to that, right? Making that a I think, 45. I think you're yeah. on to something. I think it's working. Now I gotta go to this side for this one. Oh yes. So. Now we're in the, the left hand bender here. Let's see, yeah. Why is that not the same as the other side? These damn machines. <laughs> All right. Old machines. Yeah. All right, does that look somewhat near and about it's the same spot-ish? We're gonna try for it. I mean. That's pretty precise. For, for an old for, machine. Yeah. Non-mechanical. Not hasn't been calibrated in forever. <laughs> All right, let's see how this works. I think that'll work. You think like that, or just a little bit more? Because that's really pressing on it. Yeah, we can go a little more. We don't even need the machine, probably. We just need yeah, the we might need the machine. <laughs> Bend them together. How's that? Oops. These are down 
not enough clearance on the top of the machine here. As I slip and like punch myself or something. No, it's not. Yo! Jeez. <laughs> Okay. All right. Let's that was try. more. <laughs> Round two. Let's see how we like it. Oh yeah. Look at that. That's more gooder, huh? Custom meat. Now you have to bring that one with the other one so you can make it the same. Yeah, well, we're gonna work on one setup at a time. Here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that sounds like a good plan. But we know we know how to make the bends, and this pops off the rails somehow. You gotta release it somehow. So. We did it to the old one that's been in the barn for years. Oh, like that. Yeah, like that. Oh, okay. Um, all right. All right. So there's that for a second. So squint, see that all done. You'll see it done in a minute. Probably see us doing it. Um, over here. Here's these. Not green touch. Not um, equipment defender. These here, boys, are V-bores. Or however you say that. If you haven't seen these. Check them out on your <laughs> eBay specials. <laughs> I've, I know these are trimmer racks and it's all different, but we've bought a lot of stuff from this company. I think even like our shirt press. Oh, that um, is that. Might. It's something similar. I don't know if it's the same or not. I've bought a lot of stuff. In fact, even um, they have a blade grinder that I've been told, or blade sharpener, have been told um, as long as you use a better quality. Uh, disc yes. on it it's for yeah. 200 bucks and i don't want to insult the the uh higher end higher quality machines but in my scenario um 200 bucks just trying to get the best value throw it away twice dollar. and yep and we need know, a lot at once because right. back to the we've been in business for a lot of years but like everything we're starting right now everything you see starting every every blower every trimmer every trailer every truck we got last year to like yeah. revamp and restart the business so i'm buying a lot all at once so we can upgrade in the future right we have a lot of big contracts so hence we need to buy a lot of stuff all at once i'm not just starting out and i still have a full-time job and i can you know spend the 500 dollars on racks right. i need to spend uh what were these a hundred or less right i think so because i need these and the other and trailer you know and all new trimmers to put in it if they work for this summer great if they work for two or three years even better yeah. if we have to upgrade them mid-summer good news is even at if least they we have fail contracts. and if they fail i'm the type of guy that's going to look at it and say well that's why it failed i can make that better because i have a welder a plasma right. cutter grinder sawzall so it works because for me for those who don't know we're in new hampshire and um you make, when you're landscaping, you make your money in the winter by plowing. And how much snow was there this year, Joseph? Uh, I don't know how many combined or total inches, but I know that um, we build for six. six storms. This last, we had that one last week. And we usually bid on like 20 storms. I usually year, count right? on an average of 75 inches. So when I'm doing something commercial, a lot of times I use quick dumb math and say, well, I'm going to be there every three inches, right? Yeah. So I count on 25 plowable of Storm. storms or 25 pushes or however you want to break it up. Yeah. If I call it 25 and then I can usually go about half of that for like a, for just like a straight salt treatment. I'm going to go out 10 to 15 times and just salt or sand. Um, so to say the number six, I mean, if that's how you make your living, that's kind of a, a scary. A lot less than 25 yeah. plus. That's kind of a scary number. So... We'll go with the eBay for yeah. now. I mean, I'm just thankful <laughs> with that type of season to even buy the $100 racks right now. So. Right, yeah, true. All right. And then we look. I don't know who that was. He waved. <laughs> <laughs> hello. Friend. If you're watching YouTube and that was you, hello. <laughs> <laughs> we live on a quiet back road and... It's usually only busier on the weekends when we have the brewery open next door um, a couple driveways up our friend has like a barn brewery and it's really awesome um, but yeah it's kind of fun on the weekends because we actually see people yeah. <laughs> because they come out into the woods to go try the beer but he was right. probably just looking at us that 
there's a guy and a girl standing in their enclosed trailer <laughs> with a camera. <laughs> like, what the uh, hell? What the hell? Hey. <laughs> what, are, what are these weirdos out in the woods doing? Mm-hmm. Um, okay. And then I think the last piece was we bought this big truck. Yep. Um, so so you I'm going to probably put that pointer? towards the front because that'll take up space. Again, this is only a seven foot wide trailer, so I don't want it to feel narrow. So with this okay. up here, yeah. I can hang rakes, a push broom, you know, a couple uh, shovel. You might not want to put it that high. <laughs> um, hedge trimmer, chainsaw, okay. um, probably a handheld blower back here. And then that leaves one thing that again, I'm either gonna be really cheap and build on my own, which you'll see, um, or buy, but I wanna get, at least for the mix gas, I'd like to get um, share cans, the yeah. ones with the levers and the bottom flex tube, yeah. because I feel like if I mount one, say right here, well then you grab your trimmer, you don't fall in there, you grab your trimmer and you fuel it up right here, you know, pouring a can a lot of times we use the race cans race gas cans that work great they dump out fast they're not like all a bunch of safety garbage but trying to hold a five gallon can and put a tube in a trimmer or yeah, even a blower I'm not a fan. is um is difficult awesome for the mowers yeah so like especially in the enclosed you either unload at the gas station and fuel everything up or you have cans so i'm okay with having two three cans of straight fuel just sitting in here or they make racks for those that hold two or three of the race cans yeah. but they can just sit on the floor up front yeah but for for uh simplicity and you know just not spilling all over the place and like i said the mowers are out of here when the guys are trimming so you grab your trimmer you top it off you and go to work <laughs> this side or over here we have the trimmers full it's supposed to go on one of these brackets i believe so, you grab a couple lengths of trimmer line, you throw it in your pocket, you fuel it up. Through the C or the H, down there. So that's that. That was my center, right there. These don't have to grab much. Just Look silly. at how faded this one got for being on an open trailer for the summer. This blower's only what. Maybe five months old, six months old. Yeah. And look at the difference. <laughs> right. So hopefully this one will stay looking like that a lot longer than, than that. But, but awesome, awesome blower for sure. All the rave is worth it. I mean, yeah, Did there's going to be it? steel guys that are going to say they're BR800s and whatever. And of course the... What was the other one that everybody? Oh, the Red Max. Red Max. But yeah. again, and I just like. their own, but we. I just love having everything more or less the same, and so that's the other thing. Actually, if anybody knows or has experience, I'm not a logger. I don't do tree work, but just to have a chainsaw in the trailer, the only thing I have left, really, the Tuscavana, are my chainsaws. Um, I bought an Echo chainsaw years ago, and I wasn't impressed with it, but I was cutting firewood and like. Put you know it was up against the my uh, Husqvarna 357 XP like there wasn't a comparison there so I was if I just have a good sharp saw for you know a limb down or right. drop a small tree if anybody has a recommendation for an Echo um, 
probably looking to put one here in the trailer. A handheld blower and an echo um, chainsaw. So something not a top handle, probably something 14 to 16 inch, probably 16, um, as big as an 18 I'd say maybe, just because if there is a larger pine limb down or something. But um, if anybody has a recommendation on something that size and if they have had good luck or haven't had good luck, let me know because yeah. uh, right it's corner. always good to hear before I go buy one. Yeah. All right. These two are in. They're in. And we're going to jump onto the these. Racks. So Even now, on. just the position of this, I don't think I want it right at the end of the trailer because it would be like, it feel like you're walking right into it. Yeah. I feel like if the head of it was at least this one back, because then that leaves this area here for if you wanted to do a little uh, basket or something and you had like paper towels and gloves and spare spool of trimmer line, mix oil, stuff like that could go right here because you're already that foot or so out off the wall on this wall. So this uh, this is room to grow space right here. Although it would be nice if that was just nothing there so that you could get off the mower and just like walk out the door. Yeah. Although, we'll figure it out we'll as figure we it go. Out. But I feel like that being said, no, I like the idea of it not right there is a good spot. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, all right. Let's get those. trying to figure out I believe they're supposed to or I don't know if they're supposed to not supposed to whatever um, hold the grip so it just doesn't on just the, the tube so it spins so if that's the case I got to do a little angle modification I already did slightly on this one in fact if I do it a little more you might be able to move this one up I can try this one up there and see which one I like better so there's my right back to the fabrication shop again might be enough. I don't know. So this end is just spring loaded. This end. You're supposed to. It came with little locks. I was just going to do carabiners, but I feel like that grabs it, it better. It makes it more secure. Yeah. Let me go grab the carabiners. Changing that angle kind of messed that, but it's that'll wear in. Let me go grab the carabiners and we'll do. Part two of this. Okay. <laughs> they fit. I just don't know how much of a hassle this is going to be. Right. Like every time. I mean, for now. For now, that's in there. Yeah. 
And I, I think feel like I, it better on the I handle. I like it on the handle because they're not just That's sliding and bouncing. Yeah. So I'm going to do that modification on all of them real quick. <laughs> Where did you learn that from? I don't know. I guess I probably could have built these racks too, but. Back from your Highland View hot rod days? Yes. Back when I was cool. <laughs> <laughs> no. Now what? Now you're just a landscaper? Yep. <laughs> I think you're still pretty cool. All right, final look at the rack. I'm not sure how much we got of I didn't do any of this um, trimmer line rack was supposed to go up here. We wanted this mounted up as high as possible, so we didn't think about that. So I just brought it into the machine shop and threw a couple extra holes in there and got that mounted up. So there's the trimmers. Um, we always ran these 225s. We have a couple more of them. Um, and then we have another new one but we did move up to these uh, 2620s. Gonna see, well, we got one. We got one 2620 to try. Everybody swears by them, but I know I love these and how light they are. So we'll see what the, the trim crew thinks of the little bit bigger one. Hopefully the power outweighs the weight. Um, moving on over here, slim select and the hand tools. They're all over the place, but this is the general layout of what they're gonna be. Some leaf rakes. A couple uh, grain shovels, a broom, um, chainsaw, hedge trimmer, the two blowers. This end over here we can hang up some headphones. Probably slide everything down. Uh, a handheld blower would probably be first in line here because that would be most likely to use those and that. Uh, like we said, this space here more or less leave open for options, but I would like to do a sure can mount right here. So we have plenty of room in here still, really, for a small trailer, 7x16. I feel like there's plenty of room. We're going to throw, that's our widest mower, um, so I'm going to throw that in here and see what it feels like and go from there. trailer is going to be likely, at least for starters, um, either two of these right here or this and the stand-on Dixie Chopper. Uh, the other trailer will get another two. Right now, it'll probably be this and the Dixie. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy. Not, not crazy, outrageous, hundreds of dollars. So for, what, a few hundred dollars all said and done? This rack and all those, a few hundred dollars all said and done makes it way better than them throwing in the back of the truck or slamming around on the floor in here. So. And it's a good middle of the road option instead of like more than that for just one rack. Yeah, I mean again, like I said, we're setting up multiple trailers and multiple crews all at once. So I'd say this is a good start. All right, that's a wrap on this one. We'll get you a video of the, the uh, open trailer coming up soon. Happy Easter. Happy Easter.